A total of 154 students from 12 countries exhibited 89 projects. The projects fell under six categories, namely hardware control, legal line follower, legal sumo, line follower, mobile application, and the short movie. The expo attracted participants and competitors from all over the world. Among these competitors were from Tanzania, Congo, Rwanda, Somalia, Angola, Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, and the hosts were Uganda. Okay, my name is Farouk. Uh, I'm a Gisotech coordinator, and our this is our third event, and we started back to the 2015. And in the first edition of Gisotech, it was only Uganda wide, and we called it Uganda schools only. And next year, in 2016, we started getting email from outside, from other countries, and they were asking us, can we join you as a Gisotech team? And we just said, why not? And we just opened our doors, and there we had some uh, applicants from uh, overseas. And this year, we have uh, more countries, we have uh, more teams. As you see, there's a lot of people. We have uh, more than 100 projects right now in the different categories. One of them is a mobile application. They need to build a, a, a mobile application and present to the judges. Another one is a Lego Sumo. So they are building uh, uh, robots with, by using the Lego parts. Another was a Lego line follower. And uh, another one is a short movie. So the students are uh, making the movie and sh showing to the public. And the last one, which is my favorite one, is uh, hardware control. So there's no any limitation. They're making robots which helps the people make life easier. Jess Ludeng formulated a manual wind power that will give variable power that is very consistent from year to year, but which has significant variation over shorter time scales. And it's basically, it's basically needed in the rural areas where there is no light, okay? Uh, it will help you to get electricity at high points. And it can generate more electricity, more than 50 megawatts of electricity. I'm trying to solve the electricity problems. Yeah. Because when you go to different villages they have problems with the electricity and all that. Sometimes the electricity goes, sometimes it's not there. And in most cases some villages they don't have electricity. According to students from Soroti Municipal Secondary School who came up with the idea of making a robot that follows the line, the robot is meant to help Ugandans to reduce on accidents. This is a Lego line follower. This is a Lego line follower. I have built it to be able to solve the puzzle of the line. This is a map of Uganda and we are in Gisutek trying to solve getting the, the, the robot to run around the line. So we have a software that we use. It is, we have the software. It is, um, it is a NXT G2 generation and uh, this, I have a proportional line follower. It makes the robot to follow one edge of the line. So I have five parts in my in my, in my switch, there is what they call a switch in the software. So the switch switches the power in the motors. Now when the robot is at the extreme left of the line, the motor on this, this motor gains more power because the, the light is white. So it turns on the right hand side. And when it goes on the black line, the motor on the left gains more power to bring the robot back to the left hand side, the right hand side of the line. And then the robot moves on the right hand side of the line. Akampura Utham, a 10 year old boy, made a hydrochloric arm from cardboards with syringes and hot glue. This is still an idea, but he believes after being initiated, it will be used to gather garbage in the villages and towns. I had come to represent to you a, 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 hydro, a hydrochloric arm. It is used to pick rubbish and uh, some hard and soft things. So, I used um, some hard boards. Um, I used some syringes. Um, I used um, some hot glue. That's how I came up with this. It's like this. Like, let me say it's going to pick the, rub it's going to pick the rubbish to turn to pick it. You just use the syringe on the right, on the right side, and you and you pull it up, or you pull it um, down. And if it's going to pick the rubbish to wire no clothing, you just use this syringe, the middle syringe, to wire the need to pick the rubbish.
In addition, Lisa Kajula from Galaxy International School formulated an easy way of transmitting electricity cheaply without the use of poles but only use of Irish potatoes with fixed wires. You will need a steel nail and what you will do is that you will put your steel nail into the potato and then you will get a pure copper, something, an object that is pure copper and also put it into the nail but make sure that they are not touching each other because if they touch each other it will not work it will make a short circuit and not work so and then you can measure the voltage and see how much electricity you have and what type of bulb you can light up innovation has now trickled to nursery with young children making innovations through using waste bottle tops to make different items such as tables chairs using waste materials now I'm going to explain how I made this jewelry trim. First, we have to be with bottles, manila papers, straws, a hot glue gun, and then we uh, and then we start. We get our scissors and cut the bottles. Then we get our manila papers. Then we cut them into any shape we want. And then we get our other manila papers and cut in any design we want. Then, as you see this stick here, we get the straws and and the whole glue gun and we stick them and we stick them and we get our manila papers and we cut them into any design we want. Then here on top. You do the same thing as you did here down. These competitions have explored innovations in investments from both the public and private sectors as well as highlighting several innovative programs that address children's health, education, nutrition and social protection needs. The competition is not just about promoting professional excellence, however it also serves to promote intercultural dialogue and cooperation through the involvement of students and teachers from all around the world.